YouTube, this is a Vox BM VBM1 amplifier. Try and hold that still, see if we can actually focus on it. So the control the inputs are well that's guitar input, that's a, a gain, that's a booster output, that's a gain switch for high and low, that's a tone control, that's a volume control, that's the recording headphone output. That's the external speaker, that's the on switch. That's pretty much it. Uh, Buy me special. Try and hold that long enough for it to focus on it. There we go. Uh, yep, you feel a bit to take the cable, which is nice. Nice gold piping on it. <laughs> yep. So it's a wee box. Yeah. Um, I just did a video for this two minutes ago and it ended up being 50 minutes long, so I'm going to try and make this one an awful lot shorter than that so there's actually a chance of somebody watching it um, if you look up the Brian May v v Box VBM1 manual on the, on the internet you'll find it and it talks all about it I'm sure you've probably already looked at that so I don't need to tell you that it's got um, the John Deacon made of Brian May an amp in 1978 whatever it was and used it for recording as a booster so that's it. the settings it tells you in that manual to get Brian May's signature tone is to have the tone and the volume both at 12 o'clock the gain at full and the gain switch in so that's it here I'm going to give it a wee blast but it's very very loud this is at half volume <laughs> I'm turning it down to a quarter volume just so I can still sort of talk during it. Um, it's a wee bit noisy, these are single coil pickups. I'm using this Yamaha because it's got single coil pickups which are sort of a bit fatter than strap ones, so I was thinking that's probably quite like the trisonic ones that Brian May uses in his Red Special. sound Doesn't mute the speaker. 
Yeah. 